It's Numistaka here, and I'm back with you today for some more coins that have arrived for the Mega Results Mega Grading at NGC. And uh, there's quite a lot of coins this time that are for the July grading. And uh, it's really nice to see coins arriving, not just from Silver Forum members, but from YouTube connections and Instagram connections and, uh, and, and other places as well, and friends of friends. It's really, um, it's going really, really well. And it's really nice to be able to help so many people. I think that showing the, uh, the entries and the results on YouTube in this way, in this really nice, totally transparent way, gives us all a great ability to learn from others' mistakes, to uh, help advise each other, and to make better decisions about which coins we buy and which coins we send for grading. So this member has sent me three little packages here. And the first one contains a Morgan dollar. So uh, I know if you're American and you're watching this, you probably hold the Morgan dollar very close to your heart. You probably know tons of stuff about Morgan dollars. So forgive me if I'm a little bit behind the curve because it's not anything really that I've ever been that interested in. I think uh, the design is really nice, but it's a bit samey because it lasted for so long. But this one is particularly interesting because it is a CC coin. And the CC mint mark is always exciting because uh, it's evocative of the, uh, the West, Carson City uh, in Nevada. And uh, this one is an 1893 Morgan dollar. And 1893 is a, a year which has some real, real rarities, both for the uh, New Orleans Mint with the O Mint mark and also the CC. Let's have a little look at how many have been graded by, by NGC. And you can see that hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of these coins have been graded. And you might think if hundreds and hundreds of coins have been graded, how can the coin be rare? But you know, my view on it is that these things happen in America. It seems like uh, these coins are hyped up. There's a lot of Americans. There's a lot of coin collectors. There aren't enough of these things to go around. But look at the pricing. Even a very, very basic one is like uh, got a, a price on PCGS of thirteen seventy-five, and it goes right up to one hundred and sixty-five thousand dollars for the one coin at PCGS that is graded with a sixty-six. Even right down the bottom, it's a few hundred dollars to buy any 1893 Carson City coin. Um, so it's pretty eye-opening seeing those figures. The, uh, the actual coin here is, um, is actually not really in bad condition and uh, hopefully will actually be worth grading, get a reasonable grade. I reckon maybe a 35 to 45 XF grade is my... Uh, opinion on it. I don't know what your opinion is on that, but just let me know. So uh, this guy is also uh, got a bit of a fetish for Kew Gardens silver coins, uh, which are a little bit of a folkloric coin over here in the UK. So 2009, this one is a silver proof coin from the and from the year set, probably the Royal Mint year set. And uh, this coin, even though it's not the circulation coin, which is the one that is actually the rarity seems to be that the proof coins are also pretty expensive now. So the last couple here from this particular member are already graded, but um, I know that he'd like them conserved by NCS, and in particular the 2016 colorized Peter Rabbit. Um, it will have another chance, another crack at getting a 70. If it gets a 70, I know that will be... Uh, quite a big premium on the sales price for this coin. So uh, it may just about be worth sending it in again and seeing if there's anything that they can do. Uh, although um, I'm not entirely hopeful. It doesn't happen all the time, but it is a small chance of it being upgraded. So onward to the next package. And uh, if you like some uh, gold, then hang around for this one as well. 
So uh, very well packaged, nice kind of tough outer package to get through and then a soft inner jiffy bag. Just the kind of package I like to receive. So thank you very much for that. Nice and easy to get into. And what is this? A packet of safe lips. I do like a good safe flip. This is a very, very lovely present from this Silver Forum member. Thank you very, very much. Uh, every collector and grader particularly likes to receive some safe flips because uh, they are pretty expensive to keep buying and uh, I do use them all the time. Probably I get through more of them than, uh, than most of you guys. So you'll notice um, this little package, this little um, plastic pack, great way to send coins in, not particularly expensive and it really does keep them in good condition. So uh, first one out the package is the Lion of England, the 2017 Lion. This is a quarter ounce Lion. These are very widely collected in this format, this quarter ounce format, and they go for very good premiums. The mintages weren't extraordinarily high, in fact, the mintages were really, really tiny compared to the average American coin, and uh, I think they're good. This next one, I think, is great. It is a key date coin, a Libertad 2017. Um, really, really nice. It's got a couple of little spots, need, needs a bit of NCS conservation before it's cat slabbed. You can see the little spots on the back, little copper spots. And... Uh, this is a really, really nice coin. With any luck, after conservation, it'll get a 70. Uh, I put one in myself when they first came out last year, got a 70. And uh, this year's ones have just come out. They've just been launched. They may not be out yet, but they're available to pre-order. And uh, the mintage for this year's one is going to be 750, which is five, um, compared to 500, I think, last year. So not quite so key. So if you like sovereigns, there's a few sovereigns for you in this package as well. I've noticed that proof sovereigns are harder to find now. There were never that many of them minted, but um, when I first pay, started paying attention a couple of years ago, the internet was full of pretty cheap proof sovereigns, and some of the early ones were going for pretty much the same as the regular bullion sovereigns. Now, you try and find proof sovereigns at a good price. Um, it's getting harder and harder to find these coins at the price that uh, people want to pay if they're building a set of these lovely coins. And particularly the ones for recent years um, are quite a high premiums. So 2017, massive premium. 2018, slightly less premium, but lots of interest. Very easy sales on eBay at uh, more than the issue price. Um, I did a search on, uh, on eBay, as I quite often do on eBay USA, for random sovereign proof. And for the first time, nothing showed up at all. And there always used to be one or two sellers selling relatively cheap proofs at uh, random kind of slightly lower prices but literally nothing i think the market for these things there was never that many minted and i wouldn't be surprised to see some of these things go up in price here's a 2018 one it's got the 65 year privy mark on it um, these ones are available at round about their issue price uh, i think they were you know not quite so special after the 2017 but still people picking them up and they're selling very easily. This one is interesting, it's a 2014. It looks to be proof-like or slightly frosted on one side, but uh, if you look at the other side, then you see that it looks different. It looks a bit more like a bullion sovereign. <clears throat> I've seen one of these before and uh, it was designated by NGC as a mule coin. And I think this one is also the same thing. So it's like a proof of proof uh, reverse mule. Um, not quite sure how these got produced, but there's been a few of them graded. Uh, and uh, I think Regal Stacker had one graded uh, about six months ago. 
and this will be the second one hopefully that I've graded. <coughs> this one is another, no this one's a 2013. <coughs> My eyesight is not what it was. 2013 proof, nice bit of frosting on that coin. Um, 2013 it should grade pretty well and uh, it's not uncommon for these proofs to get a 70 which is how it should be but they do occasionally get down as low as 68 um, and in fact the 1989 ones can get down lower than that sometimes maybe the uh, the striking is more complicated or the design's a bit more complicated I don't know 2003 Another nice little proof sovereign. You know, and I think this collector is not unusual. I think there's a lot of people building up collections of proofs. Or they've had proofs for a while and uh, they've decided they're not looking at them. They're all tucked away in their Royal Mint boxes um, in the capsules and they want to be able to take a look at them a little bit more often. So we're coming to the end of this video and you've seen some hopefully interesting coins. Uh, please comment on sovereigns, proof sovereigns, Morgan dollars, uh, Q Gardens and Libertads, whether you think those Libertads are worth collecting. Look forward to your comments and please like and subscribe too.